All right, class. In this video, we are going to discuss about law of cosine. I had divided law of cosine into two cases. In this video, we are going to discuss about the case number one, and that is the general formula for law of cosine. Now, what is case number one? I categorized it in this form. Let's suppose that you have a length of AC known. Yeah, you have a length of AB known, and you have angle A known. And the thing that is unknown, the side that is unknown, is opposite to that angle. So keep in mind that whenever you have a case like that, two sides are known, angle between those two sides is known, and the side opposite to angle is unknown. Then you need to apply law of cosine here. How you are going to apply? The method, the working formula, I had written over here. We need to understand the method behind this working formula. All right. So firstly, I will pick the angle. Angle is what? Angle is 60. So I will use cos 60 is equals to. On the left side of equals to here, we need to place that side that is opposite to that angle and that is x. So I will write x square because you can observe the pattern to write the working formula. All the sides are in perfect square form. All right. x square equals to. In a triangle, there are three sides. We had picked x. That means the remaining two sides are 7 and 5. So it will be 7 square plus 5 square. And after that, these two sides are multiple with 2. All right. So it will be minus 2 times 7 times 5. And you have the cos angle along with it, as you can see in your working formula. So that is an easiest way to write down the working formula of cosine. After that, you need to solve it. 7 square is 49. 5 square is 25 minus 2, 7, 2, 5, the 10. 10 into 7, 70. Cos 60 is 1 upon 2. Furthermore, 49 plus 25, 70 divided by 2. That will be 35. You can add and subtract. So it will be 39. On the left side, you have x square. You need to eliminate the square. So you need to apply root on both sides. So finally, it will be x is equals to root of 39, that will be 6.24, and that is your answer. So that's how you apply law of cosine. All right. Now in case number two, first thing, when all the lengths are known and angle is unknown, that means you need to apply law of cosine here. All right. Now we need to learn how you are going to solve such type of question. In that question, the three sides are known and the angle x is unknown. All right. We are discussed in the case one that what is law of cosine and how you are going to apply that. We are going to apply the same logic here. So first thing we are going to pick the angle and the angle in this case is cos x. So I will write cos x on the left side of equals to I will write the side that is opposite to that angle and it will be seven. All right. So I will write seven square because we are going to write all the terms in this format. All right. So it's seven square. The remaining two sides are 6 and 5. So it will be 6 square plus 5 square minus 2 times 6 into 5 into cos x. Now we need to simplify. So 7 square is 49 equals to 6 square 36. 5 square 25 minus 2 6 are 12. 5 are 60 cos x. After that it will be 36 plus 25. It will be 61 minus 60 cos x is equals to 49. I need to arrange my equation a little bit. So I will shift minus 60 on the left side and 49 on the right side. So it will be minus 60 on the left side will be positive 60 equals to 61 minus 49. Now 61 minus 49, it will be 12 is equals to 60 cos x. 60 is multiplying over here. So cos x is equals to 12 divided by 60. And after that, you need to find out the inverse of cos. So cos inverse of 12 upon 60 is 1 divided by 5. And cos inverse of 1 upon 5 is 78.46. So that is your angle B. All right. So whenever you have all three sides are known and angle is unknown, you need to apply law of cosine. 
the pattern is same that first you need to write the angle on the opposite side of equal to you need to place that side that is opposite to that angle and then you need to apply the working formula in same pattern solve it find out the angle and at the last you need to apply the inverse of course to find out the value of that angle.